We are on a pilgrimage for climate change. This means that we must, as a human family, reach every part of the earth and include every person. This is a pilgrimage of reconciliation with the world that is our home. A commitment to journey to seek an end to carbon emissions before carbon emissions make the world into a hazardous place for most humans to live. We need to realize that we are part of a living relationship that keeps the world breathing and calm. The urgency of the problem demands action now and for generations to come. So what are we called calling for in this COP? One of the most vulnerable COPs that we've had since they began. The difficulty with this COP is that we're already at a tipping point, if we are not very careful, into global war, which is already even taking the focus, the attention of our politics and our finances. So we really need a peace at this time, uh, long term established. We need a much more stable finances so that we don't slide into uh, financial problems. So we need heads of states to put their heads and hearts together and bring us the best resolution uh, in facing climate change. This means we need a serious signing on to a fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty. It means we transform our financial systems into much more uh, equitable financing for loss and damages throughout the world. It means that we implement climate action on agriculture and food security. This is most important on a daily basis for people, particularly the vulnerabilities that are occurring in relation to uh, seasons. We need to deliver a hundred billion dollars of climate finance annually to actually bridge the gaps. And we need to correct the course of our action since COP21 because it's lost pace and it's lost commitment. So we are facing a call for sustainability as social vulnerability has never experienced to such an extent both in the vastness and the number of people exposed to climate change. This means we must grow in collaboration and not simply in competition of the market. We must collaborate for the ecology, the oikos of this household. All the more organizations and institutions of faith are called to serve society in understanding that together we must act and that we can act together because the commitment has to do with our personal dignity and highest values, as Pope Francis says. Our faith enables a sense of vision and hope for a more just world that is greatly needed. We humbly recognize that we are a long way from genuine ecological conversion, yet our shared actions and commitment call us to deeper accompaniment and collaboration now. I thank you and I hope you will continue to engage with the COP process as a process of hope and of conversion.